dry turkey. Wendy's peppermint. If you try them both, I think you'll find the clear winner is in television from Mattel Electronics. Science and technology. How do you make my voice all echoey like? All right, this week we're talking trucks, Tim, and here's a checklist of what you need. You need your software, a magic trucking, number one. You're going to need that. So make sure you have it. Number two, you want your overlays for your controllers. That's going to tell you what all the buttons do and what you need to press. Have it. You need it. Now you need your instruction manual for sure. You're not going to know where to go and what to do in the first place. You have to have it. You can use your internets, I suppose. What else do you need to be a trucker? You need your steering wheel. You gotta have just kidding that for ColecoVision. You can't use that on the Intellivision. There were no steering wheel for Cole or for Intellivision. <laughs> what else? What trucker's cap? You gotta have that or you ain't an authentic trucker. He's got the vent in the back, just like the 80s. Now you're a trucker with style. What else does a truck driver need? You need your cash for your diners and for your chippies, your waitresses you wanna pick up. And what else do you need? Your Trojan Magnum. You're going to pick up the ladies. you got to have that for the rest stops, right? <laughs> All right. So now you have everything you need to be a real trucker in America. And I think we're about ready to go. So let's go start up our semi. And here you have to press number two, game number two, because trucking by magic has two different forms of games. The first one is a race. You can race against an opponent, or you can race against a computer, and we're not doing that, we're doing truck stems, so... Off-grid arcade, and Jeep Parker's arcade room, doing that, uh, we all learn something from off-grid, doing them truck stems, but this is the grandpappy, the original truck and stem. Now here you gotta go through, and this is where your instruction manual comes in handy. You're gonna pick what city, <coughs> pardon me, you wanna go to here. And your instruction manual will tell you what to do. And then you're going to fire up your big rig and get going down the road. And, and we're going to drive, right? And we're driving it wrong. We're driving long. And just be careful. And look what. Come on now. You got to watch these guys, the idiots. I'll just ram right into you. Okay, we're free and clear again. Riding down the road, riding down the road. I'm having a good time. Now keep an eye on your fuel gauge down there and your cash on hand. You can stop at a rest stop right there. Uh, eventually you'll have to. Uh, if you don't watch, you'll get tired. Look at that idiot! Stay on your side of the road, pinhead! <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, you gotta watch the road there. You gotta watch the other drivers. You gotta know what you're doing. I don't know how these guys got their CDO to begin with. But anywho, yeah, if you get too tired, then uh, you can only go certain speed. You slow way down. So there's a rest button on there. And there's only certain places you can rest if you see a little ah! asshole get out of the road. Yeah, uh, see a little deer along the road or picnic table or something, that means you can slow down and hit the rest button, the rest stop, you know, take a whiz. And there's a countdown meter. And once you rest for so long, then you can speed up again. But what's your gas, too? You're going to want to do that. Uh, as long as you have the cash, you can hit the gas button there and fill up, you know, in certain places. But if you don't have the cash, and you totally run out of gas, you'll get a little bit of gas at midnight each night. So you're stranded until then. Uh, get to your city. Uh, oh, pardon me. Fill her up. Watch out now. Okay, made it safely past that guy. But uh, this is the greatest truck stem ever made. Sure beats that new ones. That American standard, European stuff. These guys are playing now. But this is so realistic. It looks beautiful. There we're going, we're getting ready to come into the city here. And, uh, you know, I slowed down right there. But I still hit him! How the hell did I hit him when I'm at zero miles per hour? The guy had to have thrown her into reverse. It's a bunch of bullshit, what it is. But anyway, yeah, you gotta be careful. 
you gotta be careful, just like real life. But even my truck's beautiful. You don't need a, what did I hit there? A raindrop? Seriously, there was nothing there. But a really, really great stimulator game. See right there, I'm turning. And uh, now I'm on Route 10. Tells you right there, get your kicks on Route 10. And uh, you can tell by this guy there, it's uh, pink. So that means, what's it mean? Let's look in the manual there and how the hell do I know where I'm going? Now it tells me in there somewhere, there should be a map that I can look at. And uh, there's a map. And it's a little small print. I uh, could read it better when I was younger. Well, that ain't gonna help me here. I wasn't at a rest stop or a cafe. Uh, yeah, so you want to keep driving here, and uh, I don't even remember what I was hauling. There's a button to check your status of your what you have with you there. Yeah, maybe you look at your overlay, it'll tell you. Watch out, buddy. Watch out now. We're good. What are you doing here? Why are you coming into my lane? Drunk driver. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how in the world we made it past you, but... Yeah, I mean, these new ones are okay if you want to play a video game. But this here is a real thing. This will get you excited. It'll get you palpitating and get you ready. You actually think you're on the road. As a matter of fact, I know I was, I was smelling a few diesel fumes when I was playing this game. I'm sure of it. And uh, I was tasting the greasy road burgers as I was playing and getting hungry. And uh, you just got to watch the other drivers, that's all. And, uh, see how he... Now, see, he was in the other lane there. I don't know. But, yeah, really, seriously. I'm doing that to him, though, not the game. It's a beautiful game. A uh, stimulant. Uh, it's the other drivers, so... I'm going to write a letter to Imagic and tell them about these other drivers. I mean, they're realistic, though. you got to hand it to the boys over there. They did a great job. But anyway, you know, that's... That's Truck Stimming 101. If you want to play something real, play this. You don't got to do downloading and waiting for other cities and states and provinces and uh, things to show up. Everything's right here in the game. And there, see, you can stop off at a nice rest stop and then didn't you pee right there behind the honeysuckles and the pine trees. Take a little deek and take a little snooze if you need to. And there's our countdown there. Zero, see, now... I can go top speed again. Balls to the wall. Burning rubber to get our cattle or gravel, whatever we was hauling, uh, to the big city and get us some cash. Because you can see I'm at zero dollars there. But at least I had a full tank of gas, look like. And, uh, yeah. That's truck stimming. That's beautiful. And, uh, we're on our way again. I don't know what happened there. That was the phantom there. He, large marge passed right through me but uh we're coming up on the city again and then that happens bullshit i'm telling you bunch of bullshit but truck stim i imagine and magic imagine that all right so that's truck stims that's for your magic system there and you gotta have your cartridge and you gotta have your instruction manual here somewhere you want to have all this, oh, it's upside down there. You want to have all this stuff, and like I said, it's much better than the new stuff. It's so realistic, and it was so ahead of its time. These guys at a magic and in television. This stuff really was for adults back then from them. It was intelligent television is what it was. It was really smart stuff, and, uh, you know, it really was. You had to know what you were doing, and, uh... Really great, great stuff. Uh, pick up your your load and uh, take your load to the next city and stop off at a rest stop and drop off your load. Meet Lucille around the corner after you had your greasy burger and fries. Cheers to you all. Cheers to a good day of driving truck, hauling your load, and hauling ass. Yeah. Truck stems. Trucking by a magic for your intelligent, intelligent television.
for the intelligent people like me. Old Poe. Really are fun things. Check out Off Grid Arcade. And check out G Parker's Arcade. And watch them play that American game with their new fancy computers. Good stuff. Back to you. And what was with that asshole kamikaze truck driver coming at me all the time? Who in the hell was that anyway, Magic? That was bullshit. He's all over the road, and then right in my face. If I ever see that guy again, I'll give him what fur. I'll give him what fur. <laughs> Believe me, I'll give him what fur. Oh, Nacho. Come here, Nacho. No biting. No biting. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.